Well, now, in terms of your long association with the press, uh, and uh, with the Express, what, what are your general feelings about A, how much freedom it should have, and B, what are its basic responsibilities? Well, I think on, on the question of freedom, I think it should be free to communicate everything that's uh, legal and, and decent. Um, I can only speak, as you know, from my own field. I haven't had much uh, concern with libel in my field. I've, I've been mainly concerned with official secrets because I've concentrated on defense and other matters that uh, the government has been anxious to keep quiet. But um, I think I, I, I would define press freedom as uh, something that really belongs to the public rather than to the newspapers. It's their right to be informed to the maximum possible extent through the printed word. So I think we're not just defending a professional freedom when we defend press freedom, we're defending a, a human right, the right of the people to be informed through the medium of the printed word. Now, what responsibilities do you think this entails? Well, it certainly entails the responsibility that when you're doing this, because it's a great responsibility, you must make every effort to be as accurate as possible. Uh, you must also uh, make every effort to uh, make the thing as understandable as possible. And if there are two sides to the question, you should obviously try and present both sides. These are very difficult things to do in the medium in which I've had to work, because everything has got to be so very short. And as a result of that, we are bound to be, to some extent, inaccurate.